I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And I'm just excited about all the geeky stuff that's going on. This is the Dr. Bill Netcast, and I tell you what, you need to get ready for the strangeness that we have in store for you this week. First of all, how many YouTubers we got out there? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Uh, if you are a YouTuber at all, you probably have posted all kinds of very strange and furry videos to the interwebs through YouTube, and there's all kinds of folks out there watching them. Not the least of which is those of us that are on Tech Podcast Network, which, by the way, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon, or drbill.tv, or whatever it is you want to call us. We'll answer to just about anything. <laughs> anyway... Wanted to give you a quick little news bite here about that. Four billion, billion with a B, that's billion video views per day. Think about that. Four billion per day. I mean, that's just a lot. I mean, think about this. There's, there's like 300 million people in the U.S. If every single one of them watched a bunch of videos... <laughs> You'll get the idea. Four billion in a day? How is that even possible? But there you go. Anyway, as I say in the article here, YouTubery. You know you'll love it. I post my video netcast to the old YouTube. Well, YouTube is now getting four billion with a B views per day. Sowie. That's pretty wild. And on an average day, it says, you watch four billion v videos on YouTube. And the next day, you watch 4 billion more videos on YouTube. That's a 25% increase over the number of daily video views in just 8 months. 8 months! It's increased 25%. You people are just bored. <laughs> you don't have anything better to do than watch kitties going and being cute. I mean, that after all, that is the purpose for the interwebs, right? Kitties looking cute? I think so. Anyway, <sighs> eight months, and it shows the kind of immense numbers we can see when a popular web destination becomes even more popular. It's kind of amazing and kind of frightening, it says here in the article. I don't know about frightening. I mean, you know, YouTube videos, that's, it's fun. It's good, good clean fun. You know what I'm saying? The kitties and the weirdness and the excerpts of music videos, and whatever else that you want to watch is out there, including the Dr. Bill Show. Yes. Okay, one of the many places, by the way, that you can get the Dr. Bill Show, which, by the way, you can get on YouTube's... YouTube's... <laughs> I'm, I was thinking YouTube, and I was also thinking iTunes, and it became YouTube's. <laughs> yes. I don't think there really is a YouTube's. I think there's a YouTube and an iTunes. And never the twain shall meet. Except that we're on both of them. As well as Blueberry. B-L-U-B-R-R-Y. Blueberry.com. Also, of course, TechPodcast.com. Yes. So we're in lots of places. And Sevenload.com. And Vimeo. We're, like I said, we're just lots of places. So, by the way, before I forget, we have an awesome sponsor, and that is Mosey Pro. Mosey Pro for business. If you have not taken advantage of the special offer that I have right here on the screen, why not? 15% off Mosey Pro. And Mosey Pro is an awesome, awesome tool to allow you to back up your computer right over the interweb, just like you should, because it just does it in the background. You don't have to think about it. Set it up one time. Real quick and easy, and then it just backs up everything over the internet, and that's awesome. You know, I mean, I back my stuff up to the internet, and I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. It's just a great thing. 
So take advantage of this special offer using the special code PODCAST15. PODCAST15 is the code that will get you 15% off. That's a deal you just can't beat. I'm telling you. Whoa! The, The Geek Software of the Week drum roll interrupted me right in the middle of a commercial. Is that fair? Is it even right? Anyway, but the Geek Software of the Week this week is... I don't know if I can pronounce this, but I'll give it a shot. Woo install. <laughs> it's W U install. See, I'll put it up here. Woo install. Anyway, I wrote here that I needed a way to automate updates on the Citrix servers that I have at work from a script. So I searched for a command line utility that would simplify all this, and there's a tool that is freeware called Woo install. It works with or without WSUS. I think that's where they get the woo. <laughs> well, no. They get the woo from Windows Update. Windows Update install. Woo install. Yeesh. Anyway, it's cool. And there's a pro version that has additional features that you can purchase, but the free version can be used commercially or at home, and that's kind of unusual. A lot of these guys that write these kind of programs, they make you pay if you use it at work. Well, I can use it at work. I don't even have to pay because it does just what I want it to do. Awesome. And it does things like search for updates. It will download updates. It will install updates. It has all kinds of features. Now, the pro version does have a whole lot more features. And like I said, they're features that I don't particularly need, but you might. And it's really not that expensive to purchase the full-blown version uh, for your servers and so forth. So check it out. It's actually a very cool utility. Okay, so you will you will do well to check that out. And if you need a way to automate your Windows updates, this could just be the way to do it. That's the cool thing about Geek Software of the Week. I solve problems for all of you across the interwebs. Yes, it's kind of my thing. Anyway, next item. Today, well... The day I posted this, which is January 27th, that day, was the second birthday of the iPad. What the? One of those little, you know, birthday 2D things, what those are called. Anyway, I don't have one, I just pretended I had one. <laughs> so, it's cross-posted from the Handheld Hack blog, and it says that it's only been two years. Now think about this, it's only been two years since the advent of the iPad. You know, seems like we've had iPads around forever, kind of, but it's only been two years. Who'd have thought? Anyway, uh, it started a whole new thing of tabletization. I have a Sonic G tablet here. I don't have an iPad. They're just too expensive. What can I say? But I do have a tablet and I use it. It, particularly for reading off the stories that I have here on the Dr. Bill Show. It's just easier than looking over there at my PC. So, anyway, um, also I want to mention our other sponsor real quick, and that is GoToMeeting with HD Faces. GoToMeeting is an awesome tool to have meetings across the internet without you having to leave your office and go somewhere. You can just connect, and matter of fact, even in the office. You know, if you're like where I work, we have a hard time getting conference rooms sometimes. People are just meeting and meeting and meeting all the time. Sometimes it's hard to get conference rooms. Well, you can actually do a go to meeting internally at work and not have to all get together in the same room and you can see each other with webcams. You know, never have to literally physically be in a room with anybody ever again. <laughs> well, maybe that's an exaggeration, but you understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, and if you got to meet with people that are all the way across the country, this is the way to do it. Go to meeting with HD faces, the whole 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You can take advantage of that. So I'd encourage you to use this URL right here. Go to that URL, click on it, and you can get 30 days free through. Matter of fact, the best thing you could do is use the special URL right here, the special unique bit.ly URL and or go to the drbill.cc website and click on the link there 
and you are assured a 30-day free trial of GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Cool. All right. All right, let's keep moving along here, and that is an article that I just posted right before doing this netcast. I'm actually doing the netcast late, late, on a Sunday night. That's very unusual, I know, but I am because of scheduling issues. So, anyway, the bottom line is that this post is really, really fresh, hot off the press. This is talking about the new Nook that might be coming out in the spring. It says here in the post, on Sunday, see that's today, on Sunday the New York Times published a long piece about Barnes & Noble taking on Amazon in the fight of its life. Sounds really harsh, doesn't it? Uh, buried in the middle of the two-page article is a small mention of engineers putting the final touches on their Barnes & Noble fifth e-reading device, a product executive said will be re released sometime this spring. That's news to everybody. They were pretty excited to hear about that. And it will be perhaps, they don't know, but perhaps a larger model. You know, like an iPad size in the $300 to $350 range. Or it could be, see they don't know, an affordable e-ink e -ink, e -ink reader <laughs> that might allow the company to break the sub $50 barrier. We don't know, but it's exciting. Who knows, this may change the landscape when it comes to ebook readers. And that's a good thing. Like I said, competition is always a good thing. However, personally, I really like my Kindle Fire. Dude, you know, I'm just not a Nook kind of guy, but I'm really into the whole Amazon Kindle thing. I can read my Kindle books all over the place, even on my tablet here, because I have the Kindle software installed here. So it's awesome. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. What are you doing? Your eye itches right in the middle of a netcast. Your eye itches. I mean, why should eyes itch? I mean, they're eyes, you know? What's the deal anyway? <laughs> I'm going to lay my tablet over there on the desk because this is a very short netcast. And the reason is, like I said, I, 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 I was very busy this week. I didn't have a lot of time to blog. Not a lot of things to talk about. Been a bit of a slow news week anyway. I've been watching, but there's just not a whole lot out there. So I just wanted to compress it tightly into a munchable netcast. This very small netcast. <laughs> munchable? A munchable netcast. I don't know. What do I know? Anyway, the, the bottom line is, join me next time. Remember until then that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.